Hey, it's Jason Kravitz from Lords of the Playground back here at the Esquire live lounge here at Dad 2.0 Summit the Washington, D.C. 2016 edition. And uh, one of the dads here at the conference is a guy named Michael, is it Michael? Yeah. How do you pronounce your last name? Str Strahan? Str Strange. Strange. Michael Strange. <laughs> <laughs> this is Michael Strahan uh, from uh, most recently uh, Live with Kelly and Michael. Um, and uh, I hear that you had, this is actually your second career. You actually yeah. had a career previous to being a talk show host. Yes, I was a, I was a um, professional ballet dancer. Is that right? Yes, mm -hmm. with a bunch of big men on the football field. Is that right? Yeah. But um, one this, of the best ballet dancers on the field, from what I've heard. Well, from it what wasn't, I wasn't too bad. Yeah. But this second career, I'm not sore after my dances. You know, I'm <laughs> good after work. Well, it's really great to have you here at the summit, Pleasure. and uh, you're here uh, also representing Meta. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. Which is uh, about heart health. Heart health month. Yeah. Yeah. February. Heart health month. That's heart right. health month, and and having a conversation with the man in your life, and your father, or your brother. Um, your cousin, your neighbor, whoever it may be, having a conversation about heart health. Mm -hmm. I had some situation with my father, and, and at some point, um, especially with your parents, maybe you need to switch the roles a little bit. Yeah. They are always your parent, but maybe you need to switch the role, the responsibility, and making sure that they take care of themselves. Yeah, and totally. after my dad's heart health, um, heart scare, I had to jump in and assume that role and get yeah. him back on track. And you're also a father, yes? Yeah? So you have, oh, what, yeah, have four kids. kids. Four kids. Yeah. What are their ages? Oh, 24, 21, and twin girls who are 11. Oh, you've got the post-teens and the tweens. Yes, You're like on yes. either side of those teenagers. Yes, I've no. got a 14-year-old boy. I'm like right at the beginning of that fun 14-year-old yeah. teenage <laughs> world. Nothing like it. Yes, nothing like it. <laughs> um, one of the things I wanted to ask you about is uh, obviously you've stayed healthy, you've stayed mm -hmm. fit from your football career and uh, since. But I know a lot of guys I've talked to about this, especially when they're kids are young, it's hard to maintain a good health regimen because yeah. it's exhausting, mm -hmm. it's you're cooking for your child a lot of the time and they're not going to eat the same foods that you're going to eat necessarily. Uh, how did you maintain your health and be able to raise kids and feed them and be able to you know, forego I, I, eating badly? I think it's a myth in a lot of ways. I, I think it's, it's a lot of times you can be, um, hate to say it, but lazy. Yeah. And go for the fast food and all those things. But if you're going to cook one thing at home, it's very easy to cook healthy food. Mm -hmm. um, just, as, just the same as it is to cook something that's unhealthy. What you eat at home is what the family eats at home. That's how I was always raised. It wasn't, you kids, you're going to eat that, and we as adults are going to eat this. And your influence and what you do is pretty much what your kids are going to grow up to do and what they're going to grow up to know. So it's really on you. Mm -hmm. And And... You can't tell your kids to do something you're not willing to do either. So if you can't tell your kids, I want you to be healthy, and I'm not, I'm going to eat this burger while you're over there and you eat this, these carrots. It doesn't right. work that way. But you have, I, I think it's on the parent to be um, in charge, and I think it's on the parent to make the decision of what goes into their child's body because mm -hmm. ultimately that kid is your responsibility. Right. Now, do you feel, find a difference? You have kids that obviously about 10 years a little yeah. apart, right? Was there a difference because you were playing during the yeah. your older kids' mm -hmm. uh, young years, and your daughters you were playing a little bit, but then you changed careers. Mm -hmm. So, it, was there a difference being more at home with the young kids? Was it different being a, uh, what was the difference between being a dad as a football player, traveling a lot, at, or being and then uh, my, now yeah. pr just that um, being around more? And at that point, I was a bigger player too. My diet wasn't that great. <laughs> okay. But I think the one thing my kids have picked up from me is the the workouts and the staying in shape and continuously to always be active. That's mm -hmm. one thing the kids have definitely picked up. But it's definitely different now with my, my younger um, with my younger girls as opposed to my older daughter and son. And and the fact that, you know, relationships are different now. Mm -hmm. The way I can talk to them is different. Right. Um, to explain girl twin girls is no joke. <laughs> you weren't about your little fourteen-year-old son. You no, ain't. twin <laughs> girls at eleven. Man. I can't even imagine. But but the relationship is. I think more relationship is different. I'm, I know how to be a better father, actually. Really. And to the, to my twins, than I probably was when I was a uh, young guy myself, mm -hmm. way young kids, and I, I think my it taught me to be a kid, to stay young, to to laugh, to enjoy my life more, and. 
And it's, it's not, I mean, there's nothing better. It's taught me to appreciate my kids so much because my kids are the reason that I wake up. They're the reason I do everything that I do. They are um, the catalyst and I want to I want to make them proud mm -hmm. and, and and I think um, I'm doing that which I'm very happy and they make me proud as well and and I just want my kids to in a lot of ways have the things that I didn't have growing up and yeah, have the yeah. uh, opportunities that I didn't have sure uh, it's really great having you here at the dad's conference you're very inspirational to a lot of the people here and me as well uh, having been a lifelong Giants fan thank, thank you, you. For, thank you for everything there and uh, is there anything uh, are you going back to ballet anytime soon you're gonna be taking classes I mean you're ballet yes you can shake I'm, that. I'm retired from ballet. Oh yeah, do you have another yes, career I'm in mind after up this? Yoga, yoga, Pilates. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Are you gonna yes. teach? Now, you know, I, I might, I might teach. You know, I'm, I've been thinking about another career. I only work in the morning on morning shows. I need something to fill the afternoon. There's got to be something, some yoga, something meditative. Would you be my first client? I will be there tomorrow afternoon. Absolutely. Afternoon. Is okay. it afternoon? We only yeah. do afternoon Whatever classes. You, yeah, only afternoon classes. All right. I'll see if I can get myself going for that. Okay. But, uh, we provide. Um, you know, services to watch children. Oh, good. Babysitting services so all your dads can, you can come and join my Pilates class. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the first one there. Michael Strahan, everybody. Thanks for coming. Man. Thank you, really man. Appreciate Great it. job. Thank you. We'll for be back in a minute. Thank you, guys. Bye. You got a 14-year-old running it.